August 14th, 2017. This video is called Mutant Flower Petal Tobacco Plant, Nicotiana Salvestris. And this is the flower from the plant. And a characteristic, this is in the nightshade family, which is a very important family because most of our food comes from the nightshade family. Tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, and a whole host of other vegetables. The characteristic of this family though, which is weird also, it's a poisonous family, so it's kind of strange that we get most of our food from the family. But it's got five petals. You could see them right there, the five petals. It's called a Corolla. Now the mutation I found has got six petals, and there's two, two flowers that I found on one plant. Now I'm going to show you a couple other examples that are in this family to show you what a normal five petaled flower looks like. Now the other thing I want to do is show you the seeds. These are already going to seed. So let's sprinkle some of them. These are the seeds right there. Look how tiny they are compared to my finger. Now, I don't care what anybody says, but when Fukushima hit, it dusted the whole planet with these isotopes. And these isotopes, bunches of them. The main ones are strontium, cesium, and the list goes on and on. And the half-lives, this stuff will be on the planet for about 300 years or longer. And according to Dana Dernford, the nuclear proctologist, you should check him out because he's about the only one that left that is talking the truth about Fukushima. He says that in a pinhead you could fit 200 isotopes. Now look at, look at this seed, let's zoom in. Look how tiny those things are. Now, these isotopes, if you could fit 200 of them on the head of a pin, I would say that little seed right there is about the size of a head of a pin. So, if these isotopes dusted the ground, they're still sitting around in the ground. And a lot of these isotopes are pulled up through the plant roots and are stored in the the leaves and the plant, the stems, the flowers, the fruits. And it's possible that it is causing these mutations. If not, it's some other type of pollution. Because when you don't have any contaminants, I don't believe that the DNA code is disrupted. It's always going to be the same. It's like a computer code. It will always do the same unless you get a virus in it, whatever the program is. Now check this out, I'm going to blow them away. Just like that, see they fall on the ground, if those are isotopes, you can't see them, but they're water soluble, some of them, and they'll be uptake through the roots and get stored into the plant, and then it will disrupt the DNA code that tells a plant to have a flower a certain way or a leaf. So let me show you a couple other plants that are in the nightshade family. Now this is one of my favorites. This is a Brugmansia, which is called an angel's trumpet. The fragrance is just incredible. Now like this and the tobacco plant, in the evening is when they really perk up and open up. During the day they're mostly just floppy. Highly fragrant. But this is easy to see. See the five petals on it? One, two, three, four, five. They're connected. That's one of them. Now here's another species of tobacco plant. This is Aleta. But see how it's got the five petals on it? Now here's another Sylvestris. 
But look at how huge this flower cluster is and see how it's all perking up. Highly fragrant, worth growing. They self sow like crazy. They got the big leaves. I wouldn't smoke them. They probably do contain nicotine. But I'm just showing you, I got hundreds of these plants growing everywhere. There's a banana plant. There's a canna. We got some cool zinnias. Although that's not in the nightshade family. But I wanted to show you, here's the one that I got the mutation on. And what's cool is I had, these just started blooming recently. And just today, I told myself, I was going to go out at night actually because they're so fragrant. And I just started walking around and this was actually the very first plant that I looked at. And I found two mutations on it. And here it is. It's a six pointed flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. See now on the same plant, this is what's normal, five. Now here's the other one that's got six. See that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right next to the one that's supposed to be normal. One, two, three, four, five. So I am definitely going to tag this because I might actually get a thousand seeds off this little pod. And I'll have to tag it later on or tomorrow because these petals aren't going to last too long. But isn't that amazing? I knew I was going to find one because I believe that there's more mutations, more of those isotopes are being sucked up into the plants, and actually more of it day after day is coming down when it rains because the reactors are out of hand. Go look at the live TEPCO cam. The reactors are just sitting there doing nothing because it's so radioactive nobody could work over there. And actually they're try having a hard time trying to find someone that will actually work at the place. They kind of ran out of homeless people. So what's happening over there is pure evil and it's mutating plants and I will bet it's mutating humans. Not in a way where you're getting two-headed humans, but you're getting more rare cancers and disease. And Dana says, what I learned from him is, you'll get diseases before you get the cancer showing up. So let me take a close up of that one more time. And go on to your garden, I'm telling you, I will bet you that you will find your own mutations and st start documenting this stuff. A lot of my mutations, they die. They're kind of hard to transplant. So at least I'm taking a video record of this for the future generations. Unfortunately, they kind of look cool, but these are actual plant cancers induced by the nuclear industry. But everybody is out doing their own thing, riding their motorcycles, enjoying life like it's pretty normal, but I don't think it's normal anymore. Everything has changed since 311. Nobody realizes it. And it's not even because of Fukushima with the radiation. I do believe that the Earth is getting warmer because that our Earth actually tilted a little bit, moved the Earth out of its axis. And it's never going to be the same. I don't think we could move the Earth back. So I do believe we're doomed. And uh, there's nothing we could do about it, unfortunately. We just got to help each other out and uh, not be so evil, but yet expose the nuclear rats that they are. And actually, Dana was talking about how a lot of the people in the industry, like Arnie Gunderson, and these people that were the forefronts of anti-nuclearism, uh, they are actually coming out and saying that uh, those dust particles never landed here in America. But I do believe they did. 
Because what else is causing this mess? Busby, all those people are just saying that everything is okay now when they were all panicked at the beginning. I think somebody got to them. Either, either they were threatened with uh, violence or threatened with money. Either way, they sure did change their tune. Alright, well, enjoy the mutant tobacco plant and the crickets. Actually, I found a third one. I was getting ready to go inside to do the video and look at. Six petals. Right next to the normal one. And actually, look at down here. I just found another one. So it's spreading just like a disease. More and more abnormal flowers are showing up, unfortunately. There's probably more in there. I'm not going to look. I don't want to get too depressed. 